So in this video, guys, I'm going to be explaining um, how to answer these questions. OK, so if we look at this room, we can kind of make some deductions um, about it. OK, so, for example, the owners of the house can't be well off. No, por lo que veo, pues no, este, no creo que sea muy factible que no tengan mucho dinero. Más bien, pues si tienen mucho dinero, ¿no? Tienen una caja fuerte y eso. Okay. So, the owners of the house must be well off. Yeah. And de ser, yeah, we're deducing. I don't know them, but okay. So, the safe can't be burglar proof. I would say that's fine. Uh -huh. Sí, pues por lo que veo, no es burglar proof. O sea, pudieron abrirlo. So, I would say that sentence is correct. And um, the burglars must have had a key. They had a key. Well, I don't think so because the window is broken. So if you have a key, why would you break the window? Uh, so I don't think that's correct. Um, OK. Um, a neighbor might have called the police. Well, yeah, who knows? You know, that, that's a possibility. Yeah, it's igual y There could have been more than one burglar. Well, if we look at the footprints, well, maybe, I mean, you know, it's a possibility because it's the same um, footprint in all cases or the same shoe print. Um, so there could have been. Yeah, who knows? Maybe they bought the same shoes or something. It's possible. The burglars can't have taken. Yeah, no es posible que se hayan llevado. Can't have taken. I don't think that's right because the safe is open. The money is there. You know, so and um, they can't have taken. Doesn't seem like logical to me. Okay. The police might have found a clue. Well, that seems reasonable because this guy is looking on the floor and, you know, he's got his uh, microscope or his um, magnifying glass, I should say. Um, and yeah, he's he's uh, looking close on the floor here. So I think that's definitely possible that he he has found a clue. OK. And the owners could have gone out for the evening. Yeah, couldn't have. Sorry, uh, couldn't have gone out. That doesn't seem logical to me because if they were home, then, you know, um, they probably would have stopped the burglary. OK, right. Well, I hope that information was useful. Let's move on. So, oh, no, I put my bag down by the door and it's gone. Someone must have stolen it. OK, must have stolen it. Yeah. OK, so must have stolen it like pues. Obviamente alguien se lo robó, ¿no? Es, queda claro, ¿ok? And then it says here, don't be ridiculous, there's nobody here but us. Yes, but we've been busy talking. Someone, it's like a possibility, yeah, could have come in, could have come in, mm -hmm. could have come in quickly and quietly, picked it up and slipped out, could have come, because remember it's come, came, come, ¿ok? It's possible, you know. Are you sure you didn't leave it on the bus? I saw you put it down on the seat next to you. You left it behind when you got off. So it's like a possibility, yeah? You might have left it behind, I would say. Uh -huh. Or you could say here, you could have left it behind. You might or you may. Uh -huh. You um, might or you uh, could. And then um, have left it. Any of these three options, really. Have left it behind okay so yeah that's that's all clear then um and then this person saying no no es posible que eso haya sucedido so she would say no i can't have done yeah i can't and that's not possible okay oh dear uh-huh i'd be more careful with it i know um so this could be um I, I would say here, I must have been more careful with it, I know. Uh -huh. Or I might just say simply, I must be. Mm -hmm. I must be, like, debo. You know, tengo la obligación de ser más cuidadosa. Okay. That's a relief. Let's just check at the police station anyway. You never know. Someone, I would say here, might or could or may, uh, and a possibility that may, and have handed it in like uh -huh. entregar okay all right well done then guys uh -huh. so i think that should be all clear now so, so in exercise four guys we have a really strange one at the beginning it says 
Sorry, I something get out to meet you last night, but I had to babysit for some friends. Um, I really don't like this sentence. I, I checked the answer here um, in the teacher's book and it says, I couldn't get out to meet you last night. Now, the thing that's really weird about this is it says, sorry, I couldn't get out to meet you last night, but I had to babysit for some friends. That sounds really, really strange. So I would just say because, um, yeah, but in this context sounds really weird. So my advice would be, as we say in Spanish, bien para todos. Yeah, so everybody gets a tick there, um, whatever you put, because yeah, that's a really, really, really weird one in my opinion. Okay, so one day, um, this could be, uh, we could cure many common diseases. Uh -huh. um, one day we will be able to, that's another possibility. One day we might be able to, we may be able to. Yeah, you've got different options there. Okay. It took a lot of work, but in the end, the mechanic uh, was able to. Yeah, logro. Yeah, was able to. Now, in this case, he was able to. It's like that one moment, one time. Now, in this case, it would sound strange to say could. Yep, like in the sense of pudo, because could we don't use for specific moments on specific days. But this is talking about a specific moment and a, and a, on a specific day. OK, um, that's the difference between general ability and uh, and specific ability. OK, so I go ice skating for the past week because of, uh, so I would say in this case, um, I haven't been able to. I haven't been able to. Yeah. No he podido. OK, um, yeah. So in this case, I would say uh, I haven't been able to because like for the past weeks, Okay, it would sound weird to say like I haven't can or I haven't could or I couldn't have or something like that. That would sound really weird. Okay, so Tom come to the phone at the moment, uh, but I'll take a message. So uh, you could say here Tom can't come to the phone at the moment or Tom cannot, um, or we could say maybe Tom isn't able to, mm -hmm. isn't able to, um, or you could even say is unable to, is unable to, no puede. Okay. As a child genius, he solved difficult fractions by the time he was three years old. Yeah, So you could say here he could, or you could say he was able to. He was able to. OK. Um, I love stay in bed. So I would say I love being able to. Me encanta poder. Uh -huh. Or I love to be able to. Yeah, but obviously you can't say I love can or I love canning or something like that. That doesn't make sense. OK, so I hope that's all clear. Um, if, if that's all clear, we can we can move on. Um, so let's have a look at the second half then. So don't need to means no es necesario, no lo hagas. Or needn't, or for example, needn't have, lo hice, pero me di cuenta tarde que no era necesario. Pero Ya lo había hecho. Okay, so let's see if we can just position this over a little bit uh, better. That should be okay. Um, so it says here, look, there's no one else on the tennis court. Yeah. Now, in this case, I would say we needn't have bothered. We needn't have bothered uh, booking or we needn't have bothered to book. Um, and this means like, si hicimos la reservación, Llegamos y pff, reservamos y para nada, ¿no? No fue necesario hacer la reservación, pero ya era tarde cuando nos dimos cuenta. That's the meaning of needn't have. Apparently, there are still plenty of tickets left for this year's festival. So we worry about getting hold of some. So um, we don't need to. We don't need to worry. No, no es necesario que nos apuremos. We don't need to worry. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, my colleagues... Or you could also say, we needn't worry. Uh -huh. No, it's necessary. You can, you can say either one there. Uh -huh. you, we needn't worry. Uh -huh. ¿Para qué preocuparnos si, si todavía hay muchos boletos? Okay. My work colleagues kindly took me to dinner to celebrate my promotion. Yeah. And then pay a penny. Yeah. So, for example, I would say in this case, I didn't need to pay a penny. I didn't need to pay a penny. Yeah. Um, no, porque, no tuve que gastar un centavo porque me invitaron. Okay. My husband and I bought a dishwasher yesterday. So we do the washing up ever again. Uh -huh. So I would say in this case, uh, we don't need to. We don't need to. 
do the washing up again, or we needn't. You could say that as well. We needn't do the washing up ever again. Uh -huh. Like, nunca vamos a tener que volver a lavar trastes porque tenemos una máquina uh, para hacerlo. Okay? You apply for a visa to travel around this country as far as I know. Yeah? Que yo sepa. So, Arita in this case, um, the same, actually, the answers here are the same as the previous ones. Um, you don't need to apply for a visa or you needn't apply. Yeah? You don't need to apply or you needn't apply. No es necesario. Okay. It was much too cold. I see un frío tremendo to go swimming when I was on holiday. So I, uh -huh. okay. So I needn't have packed, needn't have packed my bikini. Yeah. So that's like, lo llevé en balde. Yeah. When we do something en balde, uh -huh, we use needn't have. Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's move on then. Um, so here we've got some uh, correction work to do. So correct the modal verb. So here it says, surely you mustn't be retiring. Mm -mm, that doesn't make sense. We have to say here, surely you can't be retiring this year. Yeah? No lo veo factible que te jubiles. You look so young. Yeah. You mustn't make up your mind about the job offer yet if you don't want to. So I would say in this case, um, you don't have to. Yeah. No te ves obligado. Si quieres lo puedes hacer, pero you don't have to. Yeah. No es indispensable. Okay. How lovely to see you, Bill. And this should be your wife, Betty. So when you meet somebody who you don't know, be like, ah, tú vas a ser el primo que tanto me ha comentado. Yeah. We say, you must be, and this must be your wife, Betty, right? Oh, you must be the person I spoke to on the phone, claro. Tú vas a ser la persona con la cual hablé por teléfono, no? Okay. After many failed attempts, they could, mm -mm, that doesn't make sense, because it's not a specific, I don't know, you can't use could for like specific stuff. Uh -huh. So um, they were able to, yeah, pudieron, no? Um, because... When, when we're talking about like a specific moment on a specific day, uh, we can't use could. Uh, we have to use be able to. I, I was able to. Lo logré. Okay. Um, I've just seen the weather forecast and it could not be warm enough for a barbecue at all. That sounds a bit strange to me. I would say um, like it might not be warm enough. Uh -huh. It might not. Uh -huh. Or it may not be warm enough. Uh -huh. But could in this case sounds strange in my opinion. Okay. All right. Well, I hope that's all clear then, guys. So um, you don't need to or you don't have to. Yeah. It isn't necessary. Yeah. There's no obligation. If you want to, you can. If not, then it's fine. You shouldn't. It isn't advisable. Yeah. No, it's when there. Everyone has to. The rules. Yeah. Las reglas son para todos. You ought to. It's advisable. It's bueno there. Okay. You mustn't. Uh -huh. It's forbidden. Yeah, prohibido. Okay. All right, then, guys. Well, I hope that information was useful. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know in the class and I'll do everything I can to help you understand any mistakes you have.